The new Russian Corvette project coded 22,800, Karakert class, is scheduled to be submitted to the Navy by the end of 2021. The warship has stealth technology thanks to an integrated mast structure that carries four phased array radar panels. The project ship is a derivative of Project 12300 Scorpion, a 1990s Soviet-era Almaz design proposed for a 500-ton missile ship and also influenced by the Project 21631 Corvette Buyan M. The ship's main armament consists of caliber cruise missiles or P-800 Onyx supersonic anti-ship missiles carried in eight UK SKVLS cells at the rear. The Karakert class Corvette warships are powered by a combined diesel and gas system that includes three M507 D1 diesel engines and three D-Gas 315 diesel generators. The warship can reach a top speed of 30 knots 56 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of 2,500 nmi or 4,600 km and an endurance of 15 days. The Russian Navy plans to deliver 18 Project 22,800 Karakert class corvettes to the Black Sea Fleet and Northern Fleet by 2022. The superstructure of the new corvette is based on stealth technology as well as using a modular design for the development of different variants according to mission requirements. The Karakert class, Russian designation Project 22800 Karakert is Russia's latest class of corvettes, small missile ships in Russian classification, under construction for the Russian Navy. The class is intended as a more seaworthy, blue water complement to the Buyan M class corvettes, designed for the littoral zone and which as of 2015 serve in Russia's Caspian Flotilla, Baltic Fleet and Black Sea Fleet. The ships are designed to be armed with caliber or onyx anti-ship cruise missiles and have an endurance of 15 days. They are also to be a cheap alternative for larger Admiral Grigorovich-class frigates, for which construction was delayed due to the suspended military cooperation with Ukraine, and because of Russia's intention to continue the modernization of its navy until all necessary tasks for construction of larger vessels domestically are solved. Nevertheless, delays in the supply of domestically produced engines for the Karakert class had held up the completion of several units as of 2020.